Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue doing what they did in lesson one, which is basically creating conversion tables. Although this time we're gonna be focusing on gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. And you could remember that, that phrase, that, that order by saying good, Queens prefer chocolate. <laughs> just, that is just lame. But anyway, so we got gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. So that's the thing. You know, gallons are the biggest. And it, uh, the numbers, the conversion. So parents and teachers, you can help your students by giving them this table. It's one, four, eight, and 16. So one gallon is equal to four quarts. One gallon is equal to eight pints and one gallon is equal to 16 cups. So that's the idea. That's your basic memorized. That's how you can start right there. <laughs> Good queens prefer chocolate. One, four, eight, and 16. So <laughs> before I come up with any more lame uh, mnemonics, let's just get started. All right, so on this one, We've got Julia, and she has four gallons, two quarts. Allie needs the same, but she has 12 quarts. How much more water does Allie need? So the idea is we're going to start with that Julia, and, and good queens prefer chocolate. Oh, man, this is going to hurt. Uh, <laughs> one, four, eight, and 16. So if we have one gallon, we have... Uh, Let's see, four quarts, right? One gallon is equal to four quarts. And so there's our conversion right there. So gallons and quarts, one gallon is equal to four quarts. So what if I have four gallons? Well, one times four is four. So that means down here, four times four is 16. So one times four, one gallon times four is, is four quarts. So that means four gallons times four is 16 quarts. So four gallons, four gallons is equal to 16 quarts. And then she, uh, Julia has two additional quarts plus two more quarts. So Julia has 18 quarts. So that is Julia right there. Now the question is, Allie needs the same amount of water. Now she only has 12 quarts. Well, that means Julie, uh, Allie needs six more quarts because 12 plus what gives us 18? And of course the answer is six. So uh, Allie needs six more quarts. Just quick conversion tables, right? So remember uh, one gallon, is equal to four quarts. So our conversion, we're gonna multiply by four, multiply by four, multiply by four. Anytime you have your gallons, you just have to multiply by four and that gives you your quarts. So two times four gives us eight. Um, four times four, four gallons times four gives us 16 quarts. 12 gallons times 4 gives us 48. And then lastly, 15 gallons times 4 gives us 60. All right, and then the idea is we can, now we're doing quarts to pints. Now remember, <laughs> good queens prefer chocolate. 1, 4, 8, 16. So I want you to see, if we want to go from Quarts to pints. Quarts to pints. How are the quarts related to the pints? If we were to only have one quart, how many pints would we have? Well, you could see from four to eight is doubled. So that means if we only had one quart, we would have two pints because it's doubled. It's twice as much. So one quart is how many pints? It's two pints. So we could see our conversion factor is times by two, 
And that is how we're going to fill in the rest of that table. So using those conversion tables, now we're basically just going to um, solve these problems. So, oh, let's say we do, um, let's do C. Um, five quarts, one pint. All right, so uh, now we don't have to memorize this, parents and teachers. So if your students want a, a chart, give it to them. Good Queen's Preferred Chocolate. Oh, my goodness, that kind of hurts every time I say it. So it's 1, 4, 8, and, eight and 16. So let's see. One, if we want quarts and pints, so how are quarts and pints related? Well, for every quart, you have two pints, so it's times by two, right? So if we want to convert quarts and pints into pints, so five quarts, five quarts and one pint. Well, we know that five quarts times two gives us 10 pints, plus that extra pint gives us 11 pints all together. So our answer right here is 11 pints. Now, tricky one. Let's do, oh, let's do, ooh, F. So 27 gallons, three quarts. 27 gallons and three quarts. And we want to turn it into cups. Well, we see that one gallon is equal to 16 cups. One gallon is equal to 16 cups. So what are we going to do down here? We're going to do 27 times 16, and that's going to give us the cups. Now, we can also see our quarts. How are our quarts related to our cups? Oh, well, we can see that if you have four cups, I'm sorry, four quarts, you have 16 cups. So four times four gives us 16. So we see that the conversion factor for quarts to cups is times by four. So we're going to have to multiply three times four, and that's going to give us our cups there. So if we were going to multiply 27 times 16, so 27 times 16 is right here, and that's going to convert the gallons into cups. So 27 times 16 is 432, so that's 432 cups. And this is easy, that's 12 cups, because 3 quarts times 4 is 12. So all together, we have 444 cups, and that is our answer right there. So good old Granny Smith made punch. She used two pints of ginger ale, three pints of fruit punch, and one pint of orange. So we have, um, in, I'm not drawing it to scale, but three portions or three types of juice. We've got two pints of ginger ale, we've got three pints of fruit punch, and one pint of orange juice. Now, uh, our little trick, our good queen's preferred chocolate, all right, one, four, eight, and 16. So it, how are the pints and the quarts, I'm sorry, pints and cups related? How are these two guys related? Well, we can see that for every pint, eight times two is 16. So if you only had one pint, then times two gives you two cups. So one pint is equal to two cups. So if we have two pints, how many cups? All you have to do is multiply by two, that gives you four cups. Three pints, multiply by two, gives you six cups. One pint, multiply by two, gives you two cups. So we just add all three of these together and that gives us 12 cups. So that's how many cups she has since each cup is one um, 
she served the punch in glasses that had a capacity of one cup. So it, since each glass had a capacity of one cup, so she could fill 12 cups. And that wraps up fourth grade module seven, lesson two. We're creating, continuing to create that conversion table. Um, by the way, if you want more stuff, go to embark.online. You don't have to type in this junk. Just go to embark.online and you'll get more videos and answer keys.